Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to get the uh, basically the ice cream sandwich port on your Nexus S 4G. Uh, so this is very exciting that we do now have a ROM port over to our phones. Uh, basically, it is a work in progress. It is beta. I don't think it's a daily driver yet. There are uh, multiple issues with it, but it is very cool that we do have this. We can try it out. So to get this, you are going to need to be rooted and have Clockwork Mod. Um, I do have a video in case you need to know how to do that, but uh, click on the link in the description of the video. Uh, it takes you to the Android Central website. Um, big thanks to BZ right here for uh, porting this over for us. As you can see, Ice Cream Sandwich SDK port, work in progress. So scroll down, uh, keep scrolling down, it gives you an information about the uh, the ROM that he made and download is right there so click on the download it's going to be a zip file it's called ICS SDK port dirty beta dot zip just put that zip onto your phone not your SD card obviously but your internal storage so mount your uh, phone to your computer and transfer over the zip file no need to unzip it just transfer it over once it's on your uh, phone you're good to go you can actually just boot into clockwork um, so Press hold the volume button, you can hit reboot uh, recovery, or you can press and hold the volume up and power button at the same time, and then go down to recovery and select that, uh, whichever way you'd like. But as you can see, Clockwork Mod Recovery, I believe this might be an older version of Clockwork Mod, but uh, I haven't updated to it yet, but no big deal. And no matter what uh, version, as long as you're on an updated version you're good to go so click what you need to do is actually I'm gonna go ahead and recommend making an Android backup first so go down to backups and restore and select it volume up and down to navigate power button to, so, to select and then just hit backup um, select it it's gonna make a backup of your current system so when you restore it it'll go back to exactly how it was uh, basically I already made a backup so I'm good to go so I'm gonna hit go back and now you're gonna need to go to wipe and then just hit wipe data slash factory reset select it Hit yes, delete all user data. It's gonna go ahead and delete all your data, so obviously your Android backup will back it up. You're, you're probably not gonna to wanna to run this ROM as a daily driver just because of the issues that you will see. Uh, but anyways, you go to wipe again and hit wipe cache partition, and then hit yes, wipe cache partition. Select that, it's gonna wipe cache for you. And then go down to wipe again and then hit wipe Dalvik cache. It might be in the advanced menu as well, depending on your clockwork mod. And then hit yes, wipe Dalvik cache. And once that's done, you can just go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and then navigate to wherever that ICS SDK port is on your phone. I'm going to go ahead and run to it real quick and select it then. And then just hit yes, install. So go ahead and install that... Uh, the ROM for you. It might take a little while to install, so just be patient with the install of it. And once it's done, you'll be uh, running the ice cream sandwich port on your Nexus S4G. Alright, so as you can see, install from SD card complete. That means it's done. Just hit go back. And then just hit reboot system now. So go ahead and reboot your phone. And then once it boots up, obviously you'll be running Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. As you can see, the boot animation does not change. Unless this is the boot animation that comes with it. I'm not sure this was the boot animation I had before I did flash this ROM. So just a heads up there. I'm not sure if this is the one that comes with it or if it just keeps your previous boot animation. Alright, now that it's booted up, as you can see, uh, it takes you to the home screen. Make yourself at home. You can put your favorite apps here. See, all your apps touch the circle. So, uh, basically, um, there are bugs. I'm going to run through them real quickly. Uh, obviously, well, there's um, a touch screen issue where I believe you have to use two fingers to select things as opposed to just one, which is um, obviously an issue. There is, I don't think Wi-Fi works. I don't think Bluetooth works. Uh, audio doesn't work. Um, and 3G does work. So just a heads up there, my 3G isn't on because my uh, number isn't on my phone at the moment. So it's not going to show 3G. So just a heads up there. Um, and as I said, the touch screen is a little uh, goofy. So overall, this is probably going to be a little buggy. So just a heads up, bear with me. Uh, but anyways, as you can see, touch uh, the circle to see all your apps. I'm gonna. So see, as you can see, um, it is really flash. It's flashing, but I'm gonna go ahead and try and hit OK. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this. Oh, I think you have to bring this circle over to where you need to select. I'm gonna tr try and do this. This is. Okay, so um, 
it went to search I'm gonna hit back apparently the back button works so I'm gonna try and get this to select it's hard because you gotta get this circle down to and then press with two fingers so I believe that's how you navigate you get the circle to where you want to select and then uh, press as you can see it looks like it has um, the ice cream sandwich keyboard it's a little different um, but as you can see it's I'm even having trouble running through this I'm gonna go to settings I, I wonder if I can get to it um, but yeah you move the circle over to where you want to select and then you press two fingers to uh, basically select where the circle is so if I wanted to go to settings I need to move the circle with one finger over to settings and then press with two fingers to select it so as you can see I did go to my settings um, I believe the home button doesn't work I believe that's another issue but uh, as you can see I'm gonna try and scroll okay so I can use two fingers to scroll through so I am in the settings menu I'm gonna try and go to about phone so group, there we go about phone and as you can see Android version 4.0.1 which is awesome right there so as you can see I'm running ice cream sandwich I'm gonna try and pull down the notification bar um, as you can see it is pretty difficult but I am getting the hang of it um, apparently I did that wrong let's try it again I'm not being able to pull on the notification bar for some reason um, oh well I'll, I'll try I'll keep trying whatever uh, but anyways as you can see I am running Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich which is amazing I'm <laughs> very nice job for uh, BZ for porting this over and thanks to uh, what's his name uh, Peter Alfonso as well for uh, he had the kernel and he, he pulled his files out from that so I'm gonna go ahead and hit go back try and go to something else I'm gonna scroll down as you can see this is the uh, settings menu as you can see everything's orange and not blue like you saw in the preview videos the reason for this is uh, I believe the SDK had two color options and he left it at orange but he said once he makes further improvements he will change it back to blue so just a heads up there so um, as you can see it is very hard to navigate through I am having some difficulty I'm gonna try the home button real quick doesn't seem like yeah the home buttons not working I believe the back button works though so I'm gonna keep hitting the back button and now I'm gonna try and get to the home screen it the circles not wanting to go down any lower than I need it to there it goes so I'm gonna select OK all right now I'm on the home screen there we go so as you can see you got stock uh, ice cream sandwich launcher I'm gonna try and swipe over okay cool so I can you got the um, basically power widget right there I'm gonna try once more to pull down the notification bar see if I can get it oh it almost it tried let's try it once more sorry about this guys I would assume it'd be pretty oh I got it yes all right <laughs> okay so as you can see with much difficulty I got the notification bar down uh, you got the date right there obviously you have the time up in the status bar you got the uh, ice cream sandwich battery icon and status bar um, it says roaming indicator on just because I am roaming because of my numbers not on there so no big deal about that roaming um, but I'm gonna try and go ahead and I'll hit the back button to pull it back up so there we go um, I'm gonna go through as you can see it looks like the uh, Google search stays up at the top I wasn't aware of this feature but that's very, that's pretty nice um, the Google search stays up there you got um, nice icons as well I do like really like these ice cream sandwich icons I'm gonna try and go to my app drawer real quick so bring that circle over to my app drawer and select it with two fingers it vibrates when I select it it says choose some apps I'm gonna bring that circle to OK select it and there we go I'm now looking through the app drawer. I'm gonna swipe over because it is left to right now as you can see it is going left to right so overall this port is real nice it, it gives you a good taste of ice cream sandwich you can definitely try it out um, obviously there are many issues with it but I'm still this is very impressive I'm gonna go to widgets now once you get used to the circle thing you can get it going just two fingers to select and one finger to move the circle around but anyways this is the widgets as you can see you get to choose any of the widgets slide left to right as always let's say I want to try and put the music widget right here I'm gonna select it and I believe yeah it brings up a home screen so I can just drag it over there you can resize it I'm not gonna mess with resizing right now because I'm sure that might be somewhat difficult I'm gonna to go to the messaging app real quick 
select it, see what it looks like. Um, as you can see, you got search down there and you got compose in the bottom left, select it. And there you go, brings up compose. I'm gonna go ahead and try and just, okay, so cool. Unfortunately, messaging has stopped, so there might be another issue, I don't know. But just hit okay. I'm sure that that's the same meaning as force closing. They just have it say, unfortunately, messaging has stopped. But whatever, I'm gonna go to the dialer. I haven't really checked out the dialer yet. I'm gonna select it, and that's pretty cool. Nice uh, icons there, it's got transparency in the back. But I'm gonna go to the camera as well, see if the camera works, I'm not sure. I believe the camera works. Uh, unfortunately, camera stopped, so maybe not. Camera doesn't work, sadly, because the camera app is very cool with ice cream sandwich. I'm also gonna go ahead and try and show you guys the uh, group feature of a uh, group of apps. I'm gonna go to my app drawer, and then just basically select an app. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the people app. I'm going to press and hold it, brings it to the home screen, and I'm going to drag it on top of the camera. So there you go. As you can see, they group together, which is very cool. So um, I'm going to go ahead and select it. And, uh, oh, you can press and hold on it and move the group, or you can just select it, and it brings up both of them. You can rename the folder as well by selecting unnamed folder underneath, which is very nice. So that folder option is very cool. Um, comes with ice cream sandwich. So, nice feature there with that group feature. I also want to go ahead and show you guys the lock screen. So, I'm going to go ahead and press the power button. As you can see, CRT screen off animation did not work. So, I'm going to go ahead and select, press the power button. As you can see, nice uh, ice cream sandwich lock screen. I'm bringing bring the circle over the icon, and I'm going to select it. If I go left, I go to the camera. If I go right, I go to the uh, unlock. I believe the, the camera doesn't work. So, um, obviously, that's going to say the camera has stopped. So, I'm going to hit OK. And you also, I can press the menu button, brings up wallpaper, manage apps, or system settings. So if I wanted to go to wallpaper real quick, I'm sure the ice cream sandwich wallpapers are selected. I'm going to try and do a live wallpaper. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. Uh, looks like maps live wallpaper is the only one. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then I'm going to go to set wallpaper, see if it see if it works. I don't think it's going to because I don't have any data connection right now so it's just going to show this checkerboard screen but anyways I'm sure it does work if you do have a data connection. Wi-Fi doesn't work so you are going to need to be on 3G. Obviously 4G isn't going to work either so just a heads up there. But other than that just a quick overview you can check it out for yourself. Um, if you do run into any problems at all when you're uh, flashing this, have any questions feel free to ask, leave a comment, send me a message, I'll be happy to help you out you can follow me on Twitter at QBKing77. All links are going to be in the description of the video. Um, be sure to subscribe to me as well for future how-to videos. If any updates come to this, I will probably do an updated video for you guys. Um, and I'll, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up if you like it.